Hi friends, welcome back to Something of Everything. In the last two videos, we have seen how to do member optimization and how to select specific members for that. Once the optimization has been done and members has been selected, all you will have to do is we have to remove these commands of optimization so that it doesn't get reanalyzed again and again. Okay. Now that we have completed the design parameters and parts and the members have been selected, all you will have to do is you will have to check the deflection of the members. To do that, we have to give another commands say dj1, dj2 and dff command to check the deflection of members. Let us check deflection of bottom code member that is this member ok so just zoom in to know which node is here it is bin members let us press shift n to see the node numbers the dj1 node shall be 16 number and dj2 that is joint number 2 for the member shall be 2 once we will give dj1 and dj2, it will check this whole number as 1 for deflection check. Okay, so how to give the deflection parameters in design parameters? Let us see that. In different parameters, we have to give dj1, node number is 16 that we have just checked. In dj2, you shall have to give 2, that is also we have checked just right now. And we have to give dff. What does it say? Deflection length divided the maximum allowable local deflection. As per IS 800 working stress method, the allowable deflection is 325 mm. 325. Span by 325. Hence, these three commands will be needed to check the deflection of members. And after this command, we have to check the member for deflection. But before that, let us put one more command that is track 2. I'll show you why we have given this parameter. Okay, and we have to give check. So let us just assign this to bottom code number. Okay, let's select the bottom code and we are giving dj1 to it. Let's remove this check mark so that the member is being selected throughout. Okay. Once the parameters have been given, all you will have to do is you have to analyze the structure. The structure has been analyzed. Let us go to output file. But before that, let us see the member numbers. That is 1 to 15. Okay. Let's go to output file and see the still design. This second still design is the parameter 2 in which we have done the deflection check as you can see this is member number 1 which is that one this one is the member number 1 and these are the two parameters that you need to check dff is 325 that you have given in the dff parameter this small dff is the ratio which is coming out the ratio is coming 589 the span of member let us see the span of member, bottom code member. Let's just check it out. The length of truss is 40 meter, as you can see. So, which is allowable deflection? That is 40,000 divided by 325. That comes out to be 123 m. And this small DFF shown shows that the ratio is 589.8 that means 40,000 divided by 589.8 that means the deflection of the truss is coming out as 67.8 mm and it will be the same for all the members as we have given dj1 and dj2 for the members let us check now how much deflection is coming actually let's say dl as you can see, this is the diagram. 
is go to gross processing select file to 9 for which we have designed the structure and just this is check here first how much is the deflection 67.47 and for the same we have to check here for this note is coming 67.6 as per ratio 589.8 is coming 67.8 hence the truss is self in deflection check and it will be showing that the deflection check has been set and the member is passed in the critical load condition that is deflection the member has been passed in deflection and the ratio is 0.55 so this is how you can check the deflection of truss or any member using the dj1 dj2 and dff commands thank you for watching this video do like share and subscribe the channel and yeah if you have any query about this software or another please do let us know in comment section so that we can find the solutions and provide it to you thank you